Philanthropy Tank is a groundbreaking program that empowers student entrepreneurs to become leaders in our communities. These change makers are inspiring and do amazing things. Do you want to do the snowman? Princesses Against Cancer was started by high school students who dreamed of sharing joy with children in local hospitals. Three-year-old Vanessa Garcia is battling a rare liver cancer. She always tells me she wants to go home, but when I told her about this, she was waiting happily, and I think for just a moment, it made her forget about the situation she's in. Our students also teach life-saving skills. Our pitch was to certify the community in CPR. And water safety. We're providing them with free swim lessons that are run by teens and volunteers. Or build playgrounds. The Boundless Dreams Playground is aimed to foster inclusion and unrestricted play, and it will be the first of its kind in Delray Beach, Florida. Palm Beach Philanthropy Tank, thank you guys so much. We can't thank you guys enough. It's really cool, right? Yeah. I love it. In our first three years, we have empowered 57 change makers, partnered with over 100 volunteers, given over $300,000 in grants, and impacted over 200,000 lives through our student programs. These initiatives have filled 200 student backpacks with school supplies, put shoes on 1,000 needy children, and have given 200,000 people access to free sunscreen. That's just the beginning of what student organized programs have accomplished with help from Philanthropy Tank and our philanthropist investors. I really believe in giving back. Doing something for those who are less fortunate. This experience is its own reward. You hear about philanthropy, but you don't necessarily hear it in our terms of really empowering our youth. The students also benefit from joining Philanthropy Tank. They're learning leadership, team building, business, technology skills, and a whole lot more. With years of success, it's time for Philanthropy Tank to give even more. Through service, activism, and social entrepreneurship, our change makers have made tremendous impact in Palm Beach County. The program is very pure, but when you see the faces and the emotions of the kids and the community that they're impacting, it's hard not to just get in a tremendous rush. Every moment I get an opportunity to participate. 6,500. 8,000. 9,000. 10,000. 14,000. We're going to give you the $15,000. With the support of Philanthropy Tank, we were able to make real change in our community. I'm so thankful for this experience and the opportunities that have come with it. Join us and become a change maker. Philanthropy Tank. I consider myself a change maker probably because I care about what's happening in my community and I want to make a difference. My parents have given me like everything I've ever needed. It's like my duty to like give back to other people who haven't had as much as I've had. It makes me feel good because I'm giving someone the knowledge to save someone else's life. That's who I am. It's in my personality to be so empathetic and want to help other people. And the things that we teach them can really be applied in an emergency situation. So that's really gratifying to us. You don't have to be a big leader or older. You can be a young person and still help a lot of people. It's like another step to where I want to be because I want to be a pediatrician. We get feedback from a lot of parents and, and hospital staff and they tell us every time that what we do is amazing. These are students who don't need to be doing this, and yet they take the time to want to help others. What we as adults perceive as difficulties, they don't even begin to imagine as difficulties. Don't be afraid to go big. Um, just strive for excellence and, and go beyond. project I feel like I have grown so much and learned so much that I can apply in the real world and in life. I've learned so much from the kids and the mentees that we have in the program. They're truly inspiring to me and they motivate me also. It's really been beneficial because we've all learned to work together and come up with different ideas to help each other. I think I've learned to be a better listener and I think I learned to open my mind. Well I've never really done anything like PBPT so I definitely had to do a lot more administrative work that I haven't done before, like working with Excel for the budget. 
the amount of guidance that you need to give to create an unbelievable result is a lot less than you think. We partnered with Dr. Cano, who has like his own um, eye care office in West Palm. We've gone through a lot of testing so far and we're still working through that process so we can get the most food possible to those who need it. Well, in a group setting, we all have to obviously keep doing our job because we all have to depend on each other. Boundless Dreams is an initiative to build a playground for children with special needs in conjunction with the Miracle League of Palm Beach County. Whether it's the uh, young people in the Delray area who are going from middle school to high school being much more prepared, fitting in and achieving, or the food insecure uh, who are benefiting from the amazing technology that Julian Lichtenfeld has put together to feed them uh, through his hydroponic work. It, it is definitely creating an impact in the communities. So there's always times when you get down on yourself. Um, it's also really helpful to always stay positive and also tell other people that you're going through these struggles. Since Palm Beach Philanthropy, I think that we have reached our goal of impacting at least 500 children. The world needs these children. These are people that really inspire me to do more, to do better. Sometimes they give us feedback and ask a lot of questions, and you can just see it on their facial expression that they're really involved and want to learn. They're not afraid to say these, you know, their dreams. We work with a group of girls in foster care. They have been severely traumatized, and when they work with our horses that have also been extremely abused, the results are astonishing. Working with the philanthropy staff has been so amazing. They're always so helpful. Whenever we have a problem, whenever we're at like a standstill, it's very collaborative and everyone's super like open to people's ideas and like helping. And they really want to make sure that we succeed and we appreciate that very much. If you can think it, you can do it. Dream big. My name is Mara Backman. I'm currently an 11th grade student at Dreyfus School of the Arts. I'm going to be pitching to the philanthropists my project called Alive with Music. It's really important that Alzheimer's patients are able to stay connected with their families, with the people around them, and I love being able to give them the opportunity to restore their memory as much as possible through music therapy. Hi, I'm Mariel Sabat. I'm Christina Lindner. Thomas Carter. We're Art for the Soul. It's a volunteer-based program, including music and the visual arts. Tutors who speak both English and Spanish. We also feel that one of the most important things is that it's a kids teach kids program, so that the kids feel more comfortable around us than they would around adults. Art for the Soul started off as a really small program. Over time, we started expanding it, and we want to expand it even more. We are the Mayan girls. We work in the Guatemalan Maya Center in Lake Worth. We all want to help our indigenous people, our family, our friends. Many people assume that coming from a Spanish country, they should know Spanish and English. Many indigenous people over there just speak their ancient language. We want for them to be able to understand what is going on around the world, what is going on within this country, and we want them to feel as comfortable as possible. Hi, I'm Alex Schneider. Ever since I was little, I can remember myself playing soccer. I found that there was a huge need for um, soccer balls and soccer cleats, and this is why I started Alex's Free Kicks. Soccer has been a safe place in my life. At the end of each soccer season, and I ask for balls and cleats or whatever they can give. I'm working with Boys and Girls Club of Wellington and gave the equipment to them. It opened my eyes that people don't have 
what I am fortunate enough to have, and I'm looking to put locations throughout Palm Beach County. My name is Sophia Lloyd George and I'm a current junior at Oxbridge Academy. My inspiration for beginning Code Autism is actually um, due to my older brother Robert, who is severely disabled. The majority of my life I've been volunteering with autistic and handicapped individuals, which has truly opened my eyes to the fact that they are not exposed to enough computing programs. Coding is the language of the future and will only continue to be more essential to understand. It's an absolutely inspiring experience working with autistic children. My name is Wendy Garcia. I'm Andrea Castillo. Harry Castillo. Our project is STEM Lab. It's an after-school program designed to provide mentorship to low-performing children. Children in the Latino community are underrepresented and we have tried to make our main focus them. I have family members who come from other countries. They struggle with their English and they don't catch up with the lessons in classrooms to the point where they just get a job and just drop out of school. STEM Lab has operated for about a year now. We teach over 10 subjects, including engineering, robotics, and technology.